Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah guys Welcome to Amazed by the Quran A series in which I like to share with you things I find amazing about the Quran um, Today, such an epic thing guys um, It's how Allah talks about the skies and the earth uh, Surah Al-Hadid, uh, this is Surah number 57 From then on there's a series of surahs that, de- that in the beginning declare the perfection of Allah Sabbaha lillahi or yusabbihu lillahi Everything in the skies and the earth declares Allah's perfection Okay, So that phrase recurs across multiple surahs And I'm just going to just highlight to you that there's only two places of all the places where it's different. Now what's different? First understand this. Sometimes Allah says everything in the skies and the earth declares Allah's perfection. Easy enough. Sometimes He says everything in the skies and everything in the earth. He repeats Himself. Whatever's in the skies and whatever's in the earth. So the whatever comes twice. Declares Allah's perfection. So again, the comparison is, on the one hand the phrasing is, whatever's in the skies and the earth declares Allah's perfection. The other phrasing, the rare phrasing, whatever's in the skies and whatever's in the earth, declares Allah's perfection. Surah Al-Hadid begins, سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Whatever's in the skies and the earth. So the word whatever has not been repeated, declares Allah's perfection. Okay, we'll move on from Surah Al-Hadid. We'll go to Surah Al-Mujadila, which doesn't have the tasbih, and go on to Surah Al-Hashr, which begins, سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Everything in the sky, whatever is in the skies and whatever is in the earth declares his perfection. Now there's the whatever twice, right? At the end of the same surah, يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Everything, whatever is in the skies and the earth, no whatever twice, declares his perfection. And then again, in the next surah, after, after Mumtahina actually, when you go to Saf, سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Whatever is in the skies, and whatever is in the earth declares his perfection. Sometimes you have two whatever, sometimes you have one whatever. Then you have Surah uh, Al Jumu'ah, Yusabihu Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ardi, whatever is in the skies, whatever is in the earth. Then you skip Surah Al Munafiqun and you go to Surah Al Taghabun, Yusabihu Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ardi, whatever is in the skies and whatever is in the earth. So you'll notice the majority of the time the whatever is twice, yeah? And minority of the time it's actually bunched together with one. And so, as you go through these surahs, you start wondering, why does Allah do that? Why does He say, ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard? Or He says, ma fi samawati wa al-ard? And you'll notice the Qur'an, it, dec- it makes its statements so sensitive to their context that it's mind-boggling. Every time, every time, the ayah about the de- declaration of Allah's perfection is followed by any worldly matter. Any worldly matter whatever is on the earth is highlighted in particular. Think about this. I've given uh, Allah, uh, de- declaring Allah's perfection is whatever is in the skies and whatever's on the earth. Instead of by making, by saying whatever twice, you've actually highlighted the earth. Because you don't have to say it twice. You could say whatever's in the skies and the earth. It's easy. So the, you have to understand that the second time the word ma or whatever is used, is actually an extra addition. That's not the norm, that's the exception. And you'll find in all of these surahs, the very next ayah, every time it's repeated, Oh, لِمَا تَقُولُونَ مَا لَا تَفْعَلُونَ Why do you say what you don't do? Worldly matter, isn't it? He created you, among you disbeliever and believer. Oh, worldly matter again. سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَا فِي الْأَرْضِ هُوَ الَّذِي أَخْرَجَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ He drew the disbelievers out of their homes. Worldly matter again, every time. But what about the two times, of all these times, only two times, you, su- you see, whatever's in the skies and the earth. There's no whatever mentioned the second time. The first time that happens is in Surah Al-Hadid. Read Surah Al-Hadid, what do you find? سَبَّحَ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمِ لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يُحْيِي وَيُمِيتِ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ هُوَ لَوَّلُ وَالْآخِرُ وَالظَّاهِرُ وَالْبَاطِنُ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ he says, whatever is in the skies and the earth declares his perfection. Then he talks about himself for six ayat. Mentions nothing worldly. He just talks about himself. The only other place you have the ma not mentioned in this series of surahs, meaning it's just whatever is in the skies and the earth is at the end of Surah Al-Hashr. By the way, the beginning of Surah Al-Hashr had whatever is in the skies and whatever is in the earth. And it immediately followed a what? Worldly matter. The end of the surah. 
هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم Even if you don't know Arabic, if even if you heard these casually, names of Allah, this huge garden of names of Allah, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, you kind of leave the concerns for this world and you enter the world of the unseen where you're only concerned about the incredible attributes of Allah and then he says, skies and the earth together because this is not a worldly concern. Subhanallah. <laughs> even the way he talks about the skies and the earth is so perfect. May Allah Azza wa Jal increase our iman with the recitation of the Qur'an. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us sincerity in our study of the Qur'an and give us the strength and the, the ability to act upon the words that we understand. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.